what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house once again the sopranos season four episode six we are here we are almost halfway through of my reactions today um and it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon it's no big deal <laughs> five o'clock in the afternoon i should be done hopefully i can keep going until i'm done with the season but if so if i have to take a break or if i you know get too tired around you know episode 10 or whatever i think a break finish the other three tomorrow but i really want to finish this today so i can start editing these episodes tomorrow so that you guys can have the first episode on monday so we'll see um thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all keep hitting the like button keep commenting let's just jump into the episode episode six of the sopranos great season so far let's jump into it i'll see you guys for the review at the end oh leave me 20 minutes in your weapon drop a factory parking lot for the real gigantic pyramids were built within the space of about three maybe four generations <sighs> jesus christ I can't. What's going on? How much of a dummy he is, man? Truckload, you got a nice photo, Elizabeth? Get the washing machine, so Frank Catino. You got it. Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? <laughs> She's got a buyer for those. You been drinking? Me and Aid had some wine in the house. <laughs> been wanting to talk to you. Yeah, don't mind to talk to you too. I'll go first. I gotta make it my number one priority to limit my exposure to potentially damaging conversations and wiretap shit like that. Sure, guy in your position. So, over the next couple of years, more and more, I'm gonna be giving my orders through you. And then finally, only through you. Oh, what about Sill? You got that with him and Paulie? Those other guys, Sill, Paulie. One thing they're not. Not family. They're not my blood. <laughs> they're not my blood. You hear what I'm saying to you? It's a matter of trust. It's very wise. Sill's a good consigliere. He's gonna continue on as such, but he's no fucking spring chicken either. But on the other hand, there's no reason to be giving him a fucking attitude either. No! Of course not. And there's gonna be a period of transition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're gonna take this family into the 21st century. And we're already in the 21st century, though, T. Whatever you say, T, I'd follow you into the gates <laughs> of hell. That's what I was gonna say to you. What you did for me, that fuck who killed my father. I'll never forget that. I only hope I'm worthy. Why wouldn't you be worthy? Just saying. He's an addict. <laughs> Tony needs to get a better eye on him. <laughs> oh, speaking of gossip, that noise in the Mercedes. Yeah. Brought it over to Globe Motors to have it looked at. And I was talking to Jerry in the service department. Remember that nice sales lady? I don't think so. Gloria Trillo, she gave me a ride home that day. <laughs> you know what Jerry told me about her? She died. Whoa! She what? She committed suicide. Isn't that awful? Yo, she killed herself? I mean, it's not far-fetched. She hung herself. From a Whoa. Who is that? That's a lot of Shkarol. Did you try the bank? Shkarol? Escarol? Money? Oh, Escarol. Money. Good. No, the bank red tape. I have only until the end of the week. Mm. I told my brother you know people who lend money. Little pitchers have big ears. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I just need it for ten days and then... Do you mind if I ask what for? 
Some business in France. A group is uh, purchasing an Armagnac property. I got the, um, the, the, pre the, the dossier right here. I have the dossier. You have the dossier? Jesus. <laughs> Domaine Vesely. Ooh. After that was one of the oldest Ooh, that's a castle. of Armagnac, which is on fire right now in mm. France and all over Europe. It's the next vodka. That is a castle, castle, baby. This Let's is go. a $10 million <laughs> worldwide launch. I got 100000 into it, and I need 50 more to secure the North American distribution rights. Armagnac. I'll bring you a bottle of Vesely, unbelievable, and with cigars, which are not very hot. You only need the money for 10 days. How's that? Because when the deal is done, the advertising money is released to me. You understand? These people that I might know, they don't know you. How? So I wouldn't be just vouching for you. I, in essence, would be the lender. And it's going to cost you. How much? $10,000. Oof. Man, Audi. <laughs> Five. Seven and a half. Oh, Charmaine, I don't think you know Elodie's brother, Jean-Philippe. Nice to meet you. But Elodie, please, can you clear off table four? Thank you. Charmaine, she's French? Not remotely. Not even close. <laughs> They're on allocation from the factory. I don't know when we're going to get any more in. But I'm free if you want to take it for a spin. Actually, I was uh, working with one of your other salespeople last year. She was really very helpful. Uh, I ought to give her the business. Gloria Trillo. Oh, well, um, she's no longer with us. You know where she went? Actually, she died. What happened? Well, um, she committed suicide. Why? I mean, uh, she was salesperson of the year or something. I didn't know her that well. But I got the impression she wasn't very lucky with men, that sort of thing. When was this? A month ago, maybe two. What'd she say? I mean, uh, you know, in the papers you read, they always leave a note. She did leave a note on her desk. The police took it. Later, they told us it was just copy for a classified ad. She was selling her wolf stove. Anyway, um, let me give you my card. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, nothing. How about you? Fine, thank you. Really? Business okay? Everybody hunky-dory? Well, you know. Onward and upward. How's Gloria Trullo? She's still, uh, hanging around? That's just in poor taste. Too soon. It's a terrible She's time. hanging around. So you fucking know. <laughs> you fucking know. You. you let me fucking sit there! Please sit down. How the fuck am I supposed to trust you? You're my doctor. Please sit down. You're scaring me. You've been drinking. Why the fuck didn't you help her? Sometimes you can't. I bet you charged her enough, didn't you, huh? I bet you didn't cut her a deal because you're a fucking incompetent. I give my patients everything I've got. And when something like this happens, I'm devastated. Good kid. But she was fucking crazy, and I told you. And I want you to know that I was up front with her. She knew I was married. I'm aware of that. Suicide. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? What? 
I have to respect confidentiality even after a patient is dead. But with something like this, there's no one cause. You yourself just referred to her emotional problems. She slipped through everyone's grasp. She did it after me. I mean, a minute. You know, she reached out to me for me to care, and I wasn't there for her. Why are you so quick to blame yourself? <sighs> Arnie, you, uh, you need a favor. What I do to you, you don't reach out to me. What are you talking about? Officer Ferretto called me and told me you came to him for money? You need something, you don't come to me? I'm your friend. Right. So consider yourself lucky I didn't impinge on our friendship. Hey, but Arnie, this is, this is me. Tony. Tony. If I was desperate, if Melissa had a tumor instead of an overbite, put on the sun to knock wood, you'd be the first place I went to. But this <laughs> was a business venture. What kind of deal? Elodie's brother needs a bridge loan, $50,000. And I get back 57 and a half in 10 days. I thought it was for the rest of them. I told Ralphie that. I don't want him going around me to the principals. What for it? North American distribution rights. The domain, Bezale, Armagnac. Huh? Yeah. It's the new vodka. This stuff is sweeping Europe. It's gonna be bigger than Stoli, Goose. Who ever heard of Goose before? It's French vodka. Huh? These guys, they're big players. They're throwing millions behind product introduction. All right, you got it. I told you, Tony, no. I mean, what the fuck am I? A toxic person or something? No, Tony, come on, please. I'll charge you a point and a half, and believe me, I know that's a lot fucking better than Ralph Ferretto would do. I insist. It appears like uh, 3,000 dollars. Tom, somebody's gonna come by and give me the rest. You great guy, Tom. Come here. <laughs> Why Ralph said he didn't want to lend you money? Oh. Tony is not like that. <laughs> Tony will hurt you. <laughs> if you don't pay him back. It's a good idea. Sniff the nice cigar. You see what I mean? No, Tony's just been drinking all day. Here. Arthur, already et ici tonight. They come to see you. Oh, <laughs> you. Yeah. you. Oh. <laughs> Artie likes so the young your ones, your huh? I'm gonna get a belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is a looker, I ain't a... Is Jean Philippe okay? What do you mean? He was gonna call me. I left him a couple of messages. He didn't call me back. Did you hear from him? Does he call your mother? Well, he always works strange hours. The time difference. <laughs> By the time we're waking up, they're already at home eating dinner in Toulouse. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forget. I bring you something. Boulevard des Slows. It's for the PA. Hola. I have to put the flowers in the vases. Problems with the investment, Arthur? Oh, what do you mean? Police. What do you think? She suddenly wants to play hide the boo damn blank with you. What's going on? I just want to give you a little heads up. Uh, I know the money's due in a couple of days. <clears throat> Frankly, I'm a little concerned. I can't get a hold of Jean Philippe. He doesn't return my calls. Did you go over there? Well, not yet. Well, party. You gotta go over there. The guy's not returning your phone calls. I know. They miss a payment. They start acting like they're doing you a favor if they give you anything. And then you're gonna spend all your time hounding them. 
You got to get your arms around this thing. Now. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> oh, out to you. Head on. Come in. Jump Philippe, you're home. Guess que say, man. Uh, message machine broken. I'm sorry, I I've been wishing to call you. Nice crib. You were supposed to give me my money two days ago. I know. But Credit Lyonnais, they didn't come through with a second round of financing yet. My partners are sick about it. Well, <clears throat> that's not my problem, Jean-Philippe. I want my money. I just told you, I don't have it. Well, when are you gonna get it? I don't know, okay? I don't know. Doesn't look too good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, is that? what does that mean? I mean, I don't know if it's going to happen, all right? They, they were not convinced to our business model. They didn't agree there was as much potential for Hamaniac. The problem has been, it seems that people cannot figure out how to market Hamaniac. The hip approach, like with Stoli, fails. But you said it was the next vodka. Hey, so we are big boys, we must move on. Frog eating. Fucking <laughs> punch the guns. What did you say? I said, I want my money. Are you stupid? That money spent. Operating expenses, notaire, travel. No. Nigga, I will slap you, you across this room. What do you mean you ain't got my pieces. money? It's a risk. I have a daughter who needs braces. Listen to me. I don't have it right now. You fucking French fucking lion cocksucker. Oh, fuck to your mother. Oh, I should not kill you oh 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 this is where you know I, I was like wait a minute is that and i didn't mean to hurt anybody and i loved you and i'm sorry i let you down Adi? what what's the matter what's wrong with you i'm a complete and total failure You take care of Sean, man. What did you do, Artie? What did you do? I'm just gonna go to sleep. Artie, did you take something? Don't go to sleep. Artie, you hear me? Don't go to sleep. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What's wrong? Good go? Never mind. Fucking idiot took some pills or something. He's trying to kill himself. All right, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know, Tony. I'm going to call 911. Doing more good than I can. Because you think we're, you're going to be judged or you're going to be taken advantage of? Maybe that's what it is? I don't know. As I've always said, suicide is a very selfish act. <laughs> you know. Gotta go see this guy.
What? So he says I planned it all along. That I could see 20 steps down the road how it was gonna go and how he was gonna get screwed. Did you see it? I don't know. According to him, it's uh, subconscious, second nature. But the accusation bothers you. Is that the kind of person I am? A hawk? It's an animal. Well, as I understand it, you make a lot of your living through usury. So why the pangs of conscience this time? Do you think your reaction would have been the same if at all your friend taking the pills, all of it, hadn't happened a week or so after you found out about Gloria? I'll tell you one thing. One suicide is bad enough, but two? They can both go fuck themselves. <laughs> a donation to the suicide hotline in her name. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, so that was a very insightful episode, to say the least. It's one of those episodes you watch and, you, and you're just like, I right, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Tony going around trying to get validation really, really caught me off guard about his character. I would have never thought I'll see the day when Tony is worrying about if he's good or bad. He's never really worried about that. He just operates how he operates. He's never really, I think the, the Gloria um, death really got to him. You know what I'm saying? She committed suicide, him reflecting, think it's his fault why she killed herself because it was right after their relationship um that kind of caught me off guard as well um you know i mean the, the the scene i you know i talked about the scene in last season when um i think it was patsy that went and talked to her and told her that basically threatened her and how chilling that scene was and how she acted in that scene it was was a perfect scene the way how she she acted out that scene just dumbstruck just the 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 fear in her eyes is it, it was just like um i am not su surprised <laughs> i am not surprised that it led to her suicide 
but it was also very bone chilling to find out that she actually did it you know what i mean um it's just crazy it's just crazy tony going around trying to be a better person trying to get people to say he's he's not a terrible person um you know when we all know he's a horrible person <laughs> you know what i'm saying he's a horrible person there's certain aspects of of him that i like but for the most part he's he's a horrible person you know what i'm saying um they're not good people you know but you still find yourself cheering for them to be better to become better because you know i think it is human nature to allow second chances um so it's like you find yourself rooting for him as a character because you want to see him grow you want to see him become better um you know so when it comes on to like is that a gray here are you serious right now <laughs> anyways you know your boy's getting old i'm getting old <laughs> um but anyways um it, it's crazy you know to think that that's the way to go when it comes on to tony that he would go out there and try to get some validation from you know his friends family whatever 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 so of course we have the situation with aj which i you know i tried to talk about it as much as i can if you guys have a different opinion please put it in the comment section of course um but in a situation like that you know you don't have to you don't have to reveal you know you know if your family got money or if you got money it's not an obligation to do so but i feel like after a while in a relationship you know a month in like that conversations need to be had if you are in a relationship if you are considering that to be any type of relationship and when it comes on to kids it's very it caught me off guard because usually kids that age they will tell you unless she's ashamed of something you get what i'm saying unless she's ashamed of something i mean y'all are literally talking about ag's family as if you know what i'm saying as if they out here just killing people and stuff like that y'all compare them to the movies the godfather al pacino all this other stuff right and you don't even mention one time that you're probably the richest out of all the kids in your school <laughs> like i think that was that needed to come up at some point like and you can't you wanted to be alone and you're telling me that there's not one room in that house that you could that you could go to i mean they literally was there by themselves just just now not really doing anything but i guess if they go there and they smash it, it might cause a problem because she might be she might be a squeaker so <laughs> it is what it is but that episode was was one of those it was it was one of those man the insights that you see and the contrast that you see in some of these episodes sometimes you you, you just got to be like wow i never expected that i never expected tony to ever go around seeking validation for anything but we all know furia showed up at the end you know furio is an in, is an enforcer so he's he's gonna let that guy know now you owe tony that money it, it ain't Artie, okay so now you gotta pay so i'm wondering what's gonna be the repercussions of that of them going over there and roughing that guy up you know because the, the the sister was trying to sweet talk art sweet talk Artie because she knows what was the result of everything so i don't think he did it with bad intentions and and losing the money um but it's crazy but in any case I thank you guys for tuning in as always. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.